put these in? Perfect. So how's it work? Uh, so you order up here at the front. Uh, here's my menu. Okay. And then you sit wherever you want, inside or outside. Awesome. Cool. All right. Thank you. Here. Here's a menu. You order and then you go sit down and they bring it, bring it to you. Is that right? Yeah. Sweet. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Is that good? It's really good. Can you yeah. taste the watermelon in it? So what we do is we marinate it and uh, freeze the watermelon. When you thaw it out, it kind of separates into layers. Okay. It so it's not so sweet or something? No, it actually it's supposed to be like a play on tuna. I think I'm going to try it. Are there tables back here too? Yeah. Very cool. What's up, guys? Hey. Hey. Cool. Start putting some stuff in. Cool, man. Okay, so we are going to start off with the hummus, as recommended. And then I want to do one of the burritos. Uh, let's do a black bean burrito. Let's try your queso. Buffalo 66. I want to try the honey mustard. I'll try it. Give it a shot. Oh, Okay, so Kaylee, what do we have here? Um, it's like celery and carrots, pickled onion, Very broccoli. Cool. What are these little chips right here? The crackers are really good. Okay. The pickled onion is really good. Is this, is this pickled onion? No, that's broccoli. This is pickled onion. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. That's the burrito. Look at how beautiful that is. What does look like? Like a poke ball. It's cool. It's super cute. That looks like, um, it looks like the tuna. Okay, so this is the oh queso. That's amazing. What's it taste like? Amazing. Yo. Really good. All right. What is that that you have right there? A crispy tempeh. And cool. then on top of like salad with a bit of rice. Tomatoes, cucumbers, honey mustard. That's why I got it, because honey mustard dressing. Oh, okay. It's really good. Is that a brownie? Yeah. You don't want to try this one? That is amazing. Oh my god. It's really rich. It's like even moist in the middle. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you. Bye bye. So we just finished up here. This place was awesome for first time. Definitely amazing. Highly recommend. We will definitely be back to see you guys again. We're gonna make our way over to some grocery shop. It just looks painful. Hey guys, what's up everybody? We just finished up with our vegan food haul. Our weekly restock of groceries. This week, our food haul came in at, our food haul came in at, $433.54. However, I donated a wheelbarrow and I donated to the Kids School Foundation and also the WKF Foundation. So that's another $57 right there in donation. If you can donate, please donate. Everybody needs help in this world. But, so minus that, that's how much we spent. So relatively right in the mid 300s, I think, is where we were at. We're getting ready to head back to the house. Start unpacking all of everything that we got and show you guys what we eat in a week. Hey guys, welcome back to the house here. We just got our stuff unpacked and set out for all of you. Um, this is another week of our vegan food haul. It's October 1st, 2017, and Kaylee is going to take us through what we've got. So what do we have? We have bananas. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great bloopers. I can't, I can't. Okay, we've got some bananas, lemon, watermelon, oranges, cantaloupe, pumpkin, garlic, green onion, some cilantro, cucumber, broccoli, some peaches, peppers, um, some kiwi, zucchini and squash, purple cabbage, 
a big tomato and some Brussels sprouts under there. Um, two mangoes, got some green beans, more broccoli and cauliflower, carrot sticks, some baby spinach, blueberries, sweet potato, green apples, cherry tomatoes, some avocado, strawberries. Lots of strawberries. Well, I, I'm making these strawberry muffins. Okay. So I got extra. Cool. Um, some already chopped cantaloupe. And then that's it for the produce. That's a lot of produce. And then some other stuff. We got some easy microwavable rice. Um, some pasta sauce, granola. Um, some baking stuff, canola oil, cake mix and frosting mix, and some sugar. We've got two different kinds of beans, cannellini beans, refried black beans. All of our bread we're making, we're trying these this week. A lot about them. Yeah, we'll give this a shot. So we're gonna try those, got the buns for that. Some bread, English muffins, tortillas. Um, Riley picked out these. What are this, let me see. What some are chocolate this? Chocolate bars. What are this? What are this? Some chocolate bars. She picked them out. Okay, cool. Um, hot dog buns for the hot dogs. We've got some pita chips. All of our milk, the ripple milk, soy milk. Um, Ripple's the cereal. best, just just in case you guys were wondering. It is really good. Ripple is like the best, plus some it's got juices, a lot of protein in it. Some juices. Yep. I got this to try for first thing in the morning. Um, sparkling apple cider vinegar tonic lemon soup greens. Whoa. <laughs> Provolone slices, Kite Hill cream cheese, because Kite Hill is the best. Kite Hill cream is, cheese. yeah, uh, other than tofu. tofu. Yeah. I'm making for a dressing, um, some ice cream, waffles, our coffee creamer, Yep. our protein shakes, some frozen fruit, mangoes. Frozen mango is actually a really good snack. Um, I guess we're gonna try these. I haven't tried these yet. Yeah, I know. We'll see what that's up to. Those, nuggets. those protein shakes back there are basically my uh, replacement to the muscle milk. I used to do a lot of muscle milk, and uh, this is just an easy, nice tasting, uh, plant uh, protein shake that is 21 grams. Anyways, back to it, go. Um, and then some ranch dressing syrup, and we got some apple butter. Yeah. Try. Tis that. the season, like right? So we're like. Is this one mine? Let me show you something, huh? Sure, this one's mine. Okay, so here's what we got. This is that. It doesn't look like a burger. But look at how beautiful. I like it. I love it. You like it? Yeah. One, two, three, go. It's really good. We put cheese slices on it. How'd you cook it? Just you cook it on three minutes, three minutes on each side. I just used a pan. Did you put any like pan sticker stuff? I sprayed a little bit of oil, but it really doesn't need it. But it tastes just like burr. I don't know how they get that flavor, like a meat flavor. It's so weird. It's amazing though, uh -huh. right? You guys gotta try that. Her stepdad, 60 years old, and I think I'm gonna actually try to trick him out on this and see if he likes this I without him it. knowing. Because he tried to put he tried to put chicken in my mouth last time I was there. Good job, get up. What? what are you guys still doing here? Stop! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get off this channel! 